we're the masses. Yeah. Stop the leadership worship. Stop the left right worship. Yeah. Stop the false dichotomy. Yes. It's got to be done not just in politics. It first has to be done in our in minds. Your mind, yeah, you have to understand and, and believe that. So this is the level of delusion that we can have, especially in our understanding of the, the, the mass scheme of things. We can just not know what's going, what's going on really, right? And, and we can even think we know what's going on for 100% sure and be completely wrong. Absolutely, because they're lying to us. Feeding us the, from the machine. So, knowing that this is the norm, knowing that this is how things work, stop sending your kids to war. Yeah. Stop. It's not righteous. It's not patriotic. It's not American. Nope. Defend yourself. Defend your family. Defend your home. Defend your community. Yeah. Right? The future belongs to political leaders who help Americans triumph, not delight in their suffering. Be careful of half truths. Uh huh. You can get you can get a hold of the wrong half. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Now look, what's what I'm tired of things being disguised as is we never see through the lie because we're in we're actually already in the lie with the whole political game <laughs> in the first place. Of course. What they were doing is they were they were manipulating us. You know what I mean? Well. Like uh, you said, the half truth. What part is true? Man, they've been manipulating us since the fucking beginning. You know? The people have been manipulated. That's all I'm saying is that I'm tired of the system that... Well, at the very least, when we start, when we start down the road of political parties... I think we're screwed because the moment we do that, we're, we're, we're constantly divided. Yeah, you're exactly right. And, and instead of being, you know, uh, Republicans or Democrats, you should be an American. And I've always said that always. Well, stop with the parties, stop with the agendas, stop with the freaking de division there's no reaching across the aisle. That's what they've they they talk about that for years. Well, you got to reach across the aisle. Yeah, what you're gonna scratch their back and give them something on their agenda? Usually, they they make that shit up. Whatever comes in. Well, the American people spoke and they said this. <laughs> really, I didn't hear him say that. You you hear him saying something different now, don't you? You went ahead and took us to war. And now look, they're mad. Well, how come that is? You said that they wanted that. They mean what they mean at the time, you know. And I'm I'm just tired of you know. There's no nuance. There's no there's no semblance that there's subtle things that could be different about what you believe and about what I believe and about what my wife believes and about what my children believe, right? And so you found that out yourself. Correct. And so when you're when you're faced with the reality of your own family not thinking exactly like you do, well hello, nobody, not even twins think exactly like each other, right? This is what makes what, what makes us unique among all human beings on earth ever, right? Yeah. You know, right now, I think this is a good ending spot with the war in Ukraine. The American people, I will, I will guarantee you this, as a mass, we do not have the foggiest what's going on over there. And I don't mean just Ukraine. We don't have any idea about the social, political... What it's really about. It is so deep. It is so entwined. There's monies at play and powers at play that we don't understand. And so all of these foreign wars, if you're going to send your son, your daughter to die in the war, then maybe you can talk. But unless you're going to do that, stop talking. Yep. I don't want to be sending, I'm not sending my boy to die in your political war. Yeah. 
Okay. Because I don't know, not because I don't care about Ukrainians or that I don't I care totally about do. Russians. I feel awful for them. And, uh, and I, but I don't know what's going on. I don't know the reason Putin even started this whole thing. Why is it that they want to put these weapons right there on this border? Why? For what? It's NATO, I believe. But Yeah, but my, my point is it's not America. You know, we're not doing that. But because we're we're a part of them, we're, we're going to sanction. You know, yeah, I have a hard Well, time. And, and so th- right or wrong, my point is we don't know. No. We don't have enough information ourselves to know. But it'll be too late. We'll be in war by about two or three years by the time we figure that out. Just like, you know, weapons of mass destruction and all that garbage. All the garbage that we've been through the past, you know, 20 years that we went through. We don't get to know any of it until it's already said and done. And we're now we're going, what? You should, oh, oh hell no. We're, you know what I mean? It's too late. It doesn't matter now. And they know it. So Congress authorizations were given to President George W. Bush in 2001 for the war on terror in Iraq. In 2003, and for his father, George H.W. Bush, in 91 for the Gulf War. Ronald Reagan, who was at the White House between 81 and 89, got congressional approval in 83 to send forces to Lebanon. And the list just goes on. Barack Obama, the Libyan Civil War. You know why? Bill Clinton... UN funding to from con- and from Congress to bring 20,000 troops to the Bosnian war. They said it a long time ago though. War makes money. That gives us we, we make money off of war. Well, it sure doesn't seem like that's the goal for America. So it just well, we're at war everywhere all the time. There's always war and to wrap it up with the politics, right? With the idea of the left and the right. It's such a powerful concept that we do send our kids to war. We are willing to send our kids to war. And you know what? In, in the use of cuss words appropriately, I say fuck that because it's time to stop that mentality. The left, right, the opposite side. If, if, if there is a mentality that pulls you in a direction so hard that you're willing to send your children to die for that, something's fucked up that's like that's like an offering to moloch that's like sacrificing your children to like some god Hold and that god now, is we what don't sacrifice people anymore well that's exactly what our <laughs> wars are yes they are we're sacrificing our children to what end that's right you know and we're and, leading them to slaughter whether you say it or not it, it that's exactly what we're doing and guess what? That goes for not just Ukrainians, it Ukrainian goes for soldiers. Everyone. It goes for the Russian soldiers right now who are dying. It goes for all the people in all the countries everywhere who are forced to fight Lives the wars, not of their fathers, nope. of their great grandfathers, of, nope. of ancient history. They're forced to fight the wars of you know the local gangs. It's like we have a choice, people. We are the masses. That's right. These leaders, and that's what that's where the Ingram angle bothers me with that particular scene. Is like, look, yes, you're right. We want what's best for America, but ultimately, it's all people everywhere. And I'm not talking about a globalist agenda. I'm just talking about actually all the way down to the individual, every yeah, single the, person, the, the person that's holding the gun on the other side, doing what you're asking them to do. Yeah, I know exactly. Stop! What you're stop the. It's sort of an idolatry of leaders, right? It's like we want we want this like person to represent us or these groups of people to represent us, and then and then that becomes political parties, and they're our representation. It's like, guess what? I can't even get my wife to agree with me a hundred percent. So who represents you? You. Yeah. Your voice then has to matter in some way, yeah. right? And you and I both know that this political system and the political systems all over the world tell us that our voices do not matter in any way because guess what? We're, we're over here and over there and over yonder and down over there, well, everywhere, and, and, and people's and kids it, are dying. And part of it you have to, you have to understand is that they're... they're um, they're just like you said. We don't understand what the fuck's going on over there. And they know that. And, that, you know, because of that, they're like, look, you don't know what's going on over there. We do. 
So just sit back and shut up. Yeah, but like the UFC fighter just said the other day, forgive me for not knowing his name, but the old boy, I believe he's from Nebraska, farm boy. Yeah. He's like, hey, look, I don't understand what's going on over there. Yep. God bless all of them, right, for everybody that has to die and bleed for this type of stuff. But I am not going over to yes. some foreign country to, to fight some political war for some politicians and their wants and their needs, yep. right? What? But guess what? Guess what I will do? You come down into some Nebraska soil, guess what? I ain't leaving. I'm digging my boots in the ground, and I'm going to die for what I believe in. And you know what? That's what America originally was. It was like, look, let's defend our borders. And ultimately, that means let's defend, you know, you defend your state. And and, and even before that, it always comes down to you can defend your home. You can defend your family. You can defend yourself. That's what the right? Second Amendment and then, was meant and then, for. And then it just keeps going on because you can defend yourself, because That's you right. can defend your family. That's then right. you can defend your community, right, from from all enemies, foreign and domestic, yep. right? You can you can have a system of, of rules and laws that, that people agree to. We're the masses. Yep. Stop the leadership worship. Stop the left-right worship. Yep. Stop the false dichotomy. Yes. It's got to be done not just in politics. It first has to be done in our in minds. Your mind, yeah, you have to understand and, and believe that. You have to believe that narrative. And <laughs> let's face it, it's a way better narrative than where we're at. Because the narrative where we're at, we're just following people and doing what they they're bidding. And look, and he's right. The politician, they're going to be safe right here at home. Not worrying about a damn thing while your kid is going over there fighting a war that doesn't even know what he's fighting for. Yeah, it, it it's disgusting. Uh, oh, and they'll say, but I have a nephew or a grandson or what that's that's in there. Okay, good for you. I hope you feel and sleep good at night, knowing that you're you put him at danger. And while you're home, you know, softly in your bed. You know what I mean? Here's the confusion. The confusion is so deep. I just heard a story the other day about a um, a Russian man who's in Ukraine, okay? And he has been living there. And he and his buddies are all seeing what's going on. And they're running. They're fleeing from stuff. He calls his dad, who's Russian, right? And his dad didn't, he, he's like, dad, why haven't you been calling me or anything? And he's like, why would, you know, there's nothing going on, you know? So what he's oh, hearing oh, in oh. Russia, his dad, now get this. It's not just that not only did his dad not hear what was going on, was being lied to about what was going on wow. through the media, through the machine. his dad wouldn't even believe him when he told him Are it was you happening. serious? No, that's not going on. I'm I am dead Holy serious. Holy cow. So this is the level of delusion that we can have especially in our understanding of the 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 mass scheme of things. We can just not know what's going what's going on really, right? And and we can even think we know what's going on for 100% sure and be completely wrong. Absolutely because they're lying to us. Feeding us from the machine. So, knowing that this is the norm, knowing that this is how things work, stop sending your kids to war. Stop. It's not righteous. It's not patriotic. It's not American. Nope. Defend yourself. Defend your family. Defend your home. Defend your community. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Do these things. And I, I get the idea of an army but america at its foundation did not have a standing army and that's why we had the second amendment from the first as well Mm -hmm. defense from enemies foreign and domestic right it's tyranny but it's also hey we're not going to go out and fight foreign wars that's not our job that's not our goal that's imperialism yeah that's the idea of being the the team america world police is asinine because it can't be moral. You keep, unless you're doing it everywhere with all intentions, with everything that you've got everywhere, all over the world, 
No matter where injustice rises, I'm Superman and I will come and save the day. Unless you're doing that everywhere at all times, fuck you. Not to mention that how do you know that you're protecting the right one? How do you know that you see what I'm saying? You know, they talk about Superman. He shows up. There's a bad guy and there's a good guy. How the hell does he know which is which? How does, it, he, how does he know? It's not always so clear, is it? That's right. You know, so who makes that decision? That's the problem. That's the problem we have. So this is actually a problem of us not admitting our ignorance. It's not being having any type of humility, and we're all guilty of it. We all think we know we what we know. Jump, and we jump to the gun. Right, you know what I mean? We jump real fast. We want it done right now. We want everything. Think about how bad we are. We want everything and we want it right now. Well, it doesn't work that way, especially in war. You know, especially in politics. And all you know, it it's so intricate and woven, and it's ugly. You know what I mean? It's ugly. We need to freaking pull the ugly off of it. And just make it simple again. Keep it simple, stupid. That's exactly what I was going to say. It's just, it's really, really simple. It's like, until we know something, we got to move like molasses, man. Yeah. I you mean, know what I mean? And when we know something. Then we move. But you know what? When we know something, the people, mm -hmm. the vast majority of us are seeing it. Yeah. How, agreeing with it. Why can't we... Uh, have a word in it, no matter what decision it is. Let us have a word in it. Take a little bit longer. So what? It's okay. Let the people speak and do what the people say. Don't just have your own agenda. And you know, and they will, and this is how they'll play it. They'll say, meanwhile, innocent people are dying. Yes, I know. And you're at fault because Those you're taking people your... people are going to die anyways, and that's the problem. They're going to die anyways, no matter what. They're doing that just to try to get sympathy from you to vote their way. And, and eventually, what do all those votes mean? And here's my point. If you're voting right, listen. If you're voting left, listen. Your votes, both sides... You know what they mean? Nothing. I'll tell you what they mean. They mean actually, they mean nothing to change. They mean everything to war. Absolutely. Because I don't care what side of the aisle, so to speak, that you are on. Your vote, no matter which side, means that your children, your grandchildren. May go to war. No, they will. Because yeah. under well, every president, do you understand on, what I'm saying, depending Trevor? Depending on your vote, yes, I know. I know. If every president has brought us into a war, then I'm telling you it doesn't matter which side you're on. No, I Your don't. vote is a vote for your children to go to war. Yeah. Somewhere. Absolutely. Somehow, some way, Absolutely. sometime. Yep. They're going to go. Yep. Yep. So keep your voting. Keep your left, right stuff and see where that keeps getting you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we see where it's gotten us. <laughs> it might be the end. <laughs> so as for me and my house, I vote none of the above. <laughs> right. Bam. If you've enjoyed today's episode, please like, subscribe and share with your mates. And for the latest products, visit WeaponTrainer.com. Dude, we went nowhere where I was wanting to go, but it was fucking good, dude. <laughs> well, we're both into that shit, and we both feel very, very passionate about it, so that's why I was like, fuck it, just go. Just keep it going. Let's keep going with the whole because vote. It, because, it, like, what do we know about voting? What do we know about politics? Right. What do we know about we don't war? Know shit. We don't know nothing about anything. That's the worst part is that it doesn't matter if you know or not. You know how you and everybody else feels, the psyche of everyone. 
You see it with you every day, dude. You see it every day. How people are, what people want, how people live, what they think. I mean, look, that we're talking about today, somebody fucking turning in my wallet. Who the fuck thinks that way? See, if you're from California, you're like, shit. That when shit's it- gone, <laughs> dude. Fucking forget about it, dude. It's over. It's a wrap. You would never even think, being from California, that there's a place still left on this earth where you could go and your wallet would show up with the money in it. That that could still happen with me. You know what I mean? Most people don't believe there's a place on earth where you don't lock your car or your house. Right. Where you don't even know (laughs) where. It's been so long since you locked the door at your house when you weren't there. That you don't know where the key is. Well, it's like I was telling you. It makes, <laughs> I'm still California mode, so it makes me nervous and shit. Like you coming in and that kind of shit fucking freaks me out, you know. And uh, and uh, I can't get over it because 